Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and thank you for joining channel, The Light of Heaven. Let us begin with a short prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. In today's video, we will talk about, Sister Agnes Sasagawa, a great punishment is coming. The apparition attributed to Our Lady of Akita warns of impending punishment if the sinner does not repent. Our Lady of Akita was one of the most astonishing apparitions of the 20th century. Three messages from Our Lady to a nun from a wooden statue were seen crying and sweating. Her warnings about recent times remind us of the need for penance and prayer. Welcome all of you to our channel. In the name of Jesus, we pray that all your prayers God will answer. God bless you all. Like any private revelation, no Catholic is obligated to believe it. To be a Catholic, you must always be in tune with, and never deny, the Gospel, the Apostolic Tradition, and the Magisterium of the Church. Our Lady revealed three messages to Sister Agnes Sasagawa at a convent in Akita, Japan in 1973. Sister Agnes also received a supernatural cross-shaped wound on her right hand and was inexplicably healed of her deafness. The wood sculpture also sweated and cried starting on January 4, 1975. This happened 101 times over the course of six years. Bishop John Shojiro of Niigata, Japan approved the messages on April 22, 1984. However, the Holy See has not yet recognized them. Our Lady of Akita warned of the tribulations in the Church and the punishment of the world. First Message, July 6, 1973, Miracle of Healing and Prayer of Reparation Our Lady of Akita said to Sister Agnes, My daughter, my apprentice, you have obeyed well by giving up everything to follow me. Does the disease in your ear hurt? Your deafness will go away, you can be sure. Does the wound on your hand hurt you? Pray in reparation for the sins of mankind. Then Our Lady gave Agnes a prayer to beg for forgiveness for the sins that had seriously offended Lord. Most Holy Heart of Jesus, truly present in the Eucharist, I offer my soul and body as one with your heart that is sacrificed at all times and on every altar in the world. I would like to give praise to God. Please accept this humble offering of myself. Use me as you wish for the glory of the Father and the salvation of souls. Holy Mother of God, never let me be separated from your most holy Son. Please protect and protect me like your special child. Amen. Then Our Lady asked Sister Agnes to pray regularly for the Pope, bishops, and priests of the Church. Second Message, August 3, 1973, A Warning of Impending Punishment Our Lady said to Sister Agnes, Many people in this world afflict the Lord. I hope that souls will comfort him to calm the Father's wrath. The Father is preparing a severe punishment and pour it upon all mankind. With my son and I intervened many times to appease the Father's wrath. I averted calamities by offering him my son's sufferings on the cross, his precious blood, and the beloved souls consoling him. Prayer, repentance, and courageous sacrifice can calm the Father's anger. I want the same from your community. Love poverty, sanctify yourself and pray to make reparation for the ingratitude and offense of so many. Read the prayer, see first message of the handmaidens of the Eucharist with a sense of its meaning. Practice it, offer it up to make reparation for sins. Third Message, October 13, 1973, The Passion of the Church The final message of Our Lady of Akita once again warns of the punishment that God will send to humanity if the sinner does not repent, as I told you, if man does not repent and improve himself, God the Father will inflict a terrible punishment upon the whole of humanity. 
it will be a punishment greater than the unprecedented cataclysm. Fire will come down from heaven and will wipe out a large part of humanity, good and bad alike, leaving neither priests nor the faithful. Those who survive will find themselves so desolate that they envy those who have been dead. The only weapon left for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Pray the rosary every day and pray for the Pope, the bishops, and priests. Our Lady of Akita also expressed concern for the division, trial, and persecution that would enter the church. The devil will infiltrate the church in such a way that one will see cardinals against cardinals, bishops against bishops. Priests who venerate me will be vilified by you brethren. Churches and altars will be destroyed, the church will be full of people who accept compromises, and the devil will force many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service for God. The devil will be especially intolerant of souls consecrated to God. The thought of the loss of so many souls causes me sorrow. If sin increases in number and magnitude, and if they are serious, there will be no more forgiveness for them. Pray a lot with the rosary. I myself can save you from the calamities that are coming. Those who put their faith in me will be saved. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us till next time. Stay blessed and keep praying.